Today on Strat Chat, I have an amazing, amazing, special thing today. We have a great guest, Dr. Gail Hopkins. Now, I, I should have a little disclaimer here. Gail was the very first professional baseball player I ever met. He was also the very first person I ever got an autograph from. So I think it is amazingly fitting that you were also the very first professional guest we've ever had here on Stratology. Thank you so much for being here, Gail. My pleasure. <laughs> a, a little bit about Gail. Gail played um, college ball at Pepperdine. Uh, he came up through the White Sox organization. He played uh, his year in Lodi. He batted 358. He played then, uh, came up in 68 for the White Sox, played for them till uh, 1970. In 1970, he hit 286. And there's always a, a, a story that my mom tells me because he really tore up the first half of that season. And she has a, a, um, clipping from the newspaper for the, I think it's the day I was born and you were, I think had the top batting average in the American league at that day. So I've seen that clipping a hundred times in my life. I think, uh, he then played for the Royals for 71 through 73. Uh, he came up in 74 as a late season call up for the Dodgers. Then he went and played in Japan from 75 to 76 for the Hiroshima Carp, led them or, or, or was a big part of their first Japanese World Series. Uh, 1976, he was, uh, I think you were fourth in the league in batting at 329. 77, he played uh, for the Nankai Hawks. And then I think, if I've, I've seen the World Series ring, but I can't remember the year. It's 1980, correct, Gail? Your World uh, Series? Uh, well, no, the World Series was 74 with the Dodgers. Oh, it was, oh, it was 74. It was 74. Okay. And then um, I, I also read something that, um, that uh, I thought was very interesting. And it, it was a possible, but uh, in an article about Gail, it said he's probably the only pro ball player with both an MD and a PhD. So just... What a, what an amazing career, and uh, yeah, like I said, again, thank you so much for being here, Gail. I really, really appreciate it. Oh, my pleasure. Okay. So, After all, I, I mean, I knew you before you were you. Yeah, exactly. There, that's what I, I said. There's I knew, no doubt you were the first knew, professional ball player I ever met. <laughs> I knew you when you were in different parts. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, uh, why do you say that? I wasn't even a twinkle in my daddy's eye yet. No, you <laughs> uh, uh, so, you know, one of the one of the reasons I wanted to have you on was um in in Stratomatic, one of the questions that they asked us this year for the card and dice for new sets is they're talking about coming out with a Japanese uh all-star or hall of fame set. And it kind of made me look into it. And on the computer game, there's lots of old uh, seasons that you can play. I think you can play 69, uh, 73. I was looking to see if one of your seasons was there. So I may have to call the company and say, hey, can we add, can we add 75, 76? But, uh, then the, but they have quite a few seasons for the Japanese league in, in the computer game. I thought that was really cool. And I, I thought I was going to want to ask you, how that all came about, you know, how, you know, you're kind of in that first wave of, of, of players to go to Japan from America and kind of how did that all come about? Well, uh, actually, you know, baseball in Japan is, has been around for quite a while. It was, it was, uh, there before uh, World War II. And in fact, uh, one of the, I am told uh, by people who are related to other people and have seen pictures, uh, you know, of that were taken in the 1930s uh, when they started professional baseball in Japan because uh, they were somehow enamored with uh, Babe Ruth and uh, Lou Gehrig and all of the American, uh, these American baseball players. And 
baseball has uh, it, the game itself uh, from a strategic uh, execution kind of a perspective is something that appealed to the Japanese mind. Find us every Saturday, 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific, on 365 Sportscast radio streaming service. Download the app. Makes it crazy easy to listen.